Game of Thrones from Who's, Belfast. Are you right going to be on the Iron Throne? I think we're battling the series going to be on the yeah. Iron Throne. <laughs> and a it. battle of 6 and 0 teams tonight. Bedford Chestnut Ridge. Jordan it's a battle this was Bedford County. Exactly. And it was of course it was our Reliance Bank game of the week. Let's get right to it and well hey, let's uh, pick it up. Let's actually well first off Congrats to Elise Barnes, the Chestnut Ridge homecoming queen. The reaction is always priceless. We pick this one up in the second quarter. Lions straight Maxwell pushes himself into the herd of Bison, but he comes out with a touchdown, tying the score up at seven. Near the end of the second, Lions driving. Logan Fisher keeps this one himself, but he runs into Steven Ressler. He fumbles, and quarterback Mercury Swain picks it up, runs his way all the way back to the 43, but... Wait, Jordan, it gets better. It does? on the ensuing drive, Swain's pass is picked off by Joe Gardner. Is banana lands. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. 7-7 <laughs> seven, seven at the half. Right out of the gate in the second half. Wrestler back to receive. And would you believe it? He takes this one all the way to the house. Bedford leads at 13-7. They would miss the extra point, and that would prove to be huge. Fourth quarter. Fister with a sneaky, sneaky quarterback sneak. He's in for the touchdown. So the Lions sneaky. lead 20 to 13. Clock winding down. Bedford makes a strong push. They get a touchdown to make it 20 to 18 or 20 to 19. So they go for two. Wrestler with a snap, hands it off to Swain, launches to the end zone, but Jonah Hillglass blocks and defends the pass. Chestnut Ridge wins it 2019 in a thriller. Rosie Langello with the winning Lions. Jack and Jordan here with the Lions, who are still undefeated. Let's celebrate. Let's go right now. Yeah! Take me through that drive that Bedford had. Well, I mean to tell you, whenever a wrestler came off the line, caught that goal line pass, I was like, oh boy, this is this is tough. This is where we need to stop them. And I, the last play there, when they went for two point conversion after touchdown, I saw the guy come off. He's in my back of my corner, back of my eye, and I saw well the quarterback come out and <laughs> and I'm like, oh crap. Whenever he released the ball, I'm like, I got to bust my butt back there, and I don't know how. I just like swung across and got the ball somehow. You did it. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. All right, Logan, great game tonight. Thank you. How does this win compare to others? This win's huge. You know, Bedford's a big rival. It's always a tough game. They're a good team. It's a hard-fought win. I'm proud of my guys. Trey, I saw you celebrating all night on the sidelines, keeping everyone active. How does it feel to be undefeated? It feels great. We work hard and we deserve it. This is where we belong. I'm happy with everybody. We played a great team win tonight. Can't get any better than this. One more celebration. Let's go! Yeah! Chestnut Ridge 7 and 0. The Red Raiders moving on to another battle of undefeated teams. Red Raiders of Myersdale hosting Berlin Brothers Valley tonight. First quarter, driving Mallon Reese drops back rolls Rolling, launches one deep, but Will Spockert says, give me that. He picks off the pass. Berlin takes over. On the ensuing possession, Cole Bluebaugh gets the handoff, and he stiffs arms multiple defenders to pick up a nice gain for Berlin. Later on, it's Will Spockert. Again, this time, he calls his own number, makes his way into the end zone for a Berlin touchdown. Second quarter now, Berlin driving. They run a reverse, but they lose the football. you got to have the football. Myersdale recovers in the end zone as Myersdale goes on to win by a final score of 28 to 14. All right, it's Bishop McCourt at Penn Cambria. McCourt up 34 14 in the third. Brendan Bear takes the handoff, dives for the pylon, and it's a tutter. McCourt extends the lead. Whee! Fourth quarter, more McCourt and. Wait, wait for wait, it. Wait, wait, wait for, for it. it. There's wait a little bit of cheerleaders. cheerleaders. And. Fumble. There's going to be a fumble on the Ball. play. Scoop and score the other way. McCourt would go on to win 49-22. to Now on to the Mustangs. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling to Conneval Township to take on the Indians. First quarter, Jackson Byer finds Brady Kist on the sideline. Unfortunately, it's going to lead to a turnover. Connor Price airs it out to Gabe Forst, who hauls it in for the first down. A few plays later, Brody Plummer is going to punch it in for the score, and Portage will go on to win this one 63 to nothing. All right, and after sports play only on WGAJ, it's our digital game of the week Huntington and Bald Eagle. Stick tuned, that starts at midnight.